Sam Laporta has arguably been the Detroit Lions' biggest disappointment in 2024. After a fabulous rookie campaign that saw him get second-team All-Pro honors, a vote to the Pro Bowl, and even finishing third in Offensive Rookie of the Year voting, Sam Laporta's hype was sky-high for 2024. After coming off one of the best rookie tight end seasons in NFL history, the sophomore campaign was expected to be even better. However, just a month into the season, Sam Laporta hasn't lived up to those expectations. With less than 150 receiving yards through four games, zero touchdowns to show for his effort, and at this point in the season being the Detroit Lions' fifth option on offense, there seems to be a lot of issues within the Detroit Lions organization when it comes to using Sam Laporta to his full potential. Today, we're going to talk about exactly why that is. We're going to take a look at his statistical drop-off. We're going to take a look at what has caused the drop in numbers and whether that drop is a good thing or a bad thing for the Detroit Lions. So with that being said, before we get into his 2024 season, let's start off with his rookie campaign that was arguably one of the most impressive seasons by a tight end in NFL history. Samuel Porta as a rookie, came into the NFL as a second-round selection from the University of Iowa. In 17 games for the Detroit Lions, he was targeted 120 times, had 86 receptions for 889 yards and 10 touchdowns through the year. He tied the rookie touchdown receptions record set by Mike Ditka very very long time ago. And again, he was voted to the Pro Bowl as a rookie. He was voted to a second team all pro nod as a rookie and finished third in offensive rookie of the year, which for a tight end is a very, very rare occurrence. There was a lot of people that thought Sam Laporta was going to be the best tight end in football. There are still a lot of people that believe Sam Laporta can be the best tight end in football, but coming off of an injury throughout the offseason, kind of being a little bit cautious coming into this season, as well as the offense kind of figuring it out in other ways, has led to Sam Laporta's production taking a significant drop off in 2024. In fact, through four games in 2024, Sam Laporta has been targeted just 14 times. He's had just 12 receptions on the season for 147 yards and 12.3 yards per reception. Now, I will say that Sam Laporta's yards per reception, that 12.3 number, is better than his rookie campaign. Last year in 2023, Sam Laporta was averaging 10.6 yards per reception, meaning he's averaging nearly two more yards per catch than he did a season ago. The problem, of course, is the volume of targets and the volume of receptions is not where it was in 2023. Now, despite those numbers, right, despite his numbers being down this season from where they were a season ago, Sam Laporta still ranks among top 10 in the NFL amongst tight ends in many receiving categories. He ranks 11th in the NFL among tight ends in receiving yards. He ranks 4th in the NFL in yards per reception, despite playing one less game than every other tight end in the league. However, despite those numbers, despite being 11th in yards and 4th in yards per reception, he ranks just 20th in targets among tight ends in the NFL. In three of his four games, he has more than 35 receiving yards. So he has been impactful, and even though he hasn't had the 100 yards receiving, even though he hasn't had the three touchdown games, Sam Laporta is still averaging about two to three first downs per game for the Detroit Lions. He's keeping the offense on schedule. He's moving the chains for this Detroit Lions offense, and he's still being a nice security blanket for what Jared Goff has needed him to be. Now, there is context to these numbers, right? There is context to the 20th in targets. There is context to the 11th in yards. And that is simply that Sam Laporta hasn't been fully healthy this season. He suffered a hamstring injury at some point during training camp, and he's been very slow to return. But while he's been in all four games, while he's suited up and he's played in all four games, you could tell that Sam Laporta really wasn't fully healthy, really wasn't fully trusting that hamstring up around until about week three, right? Week three had a couple big receptions versus Arizona. You could see, okay, it's starting to come back. The explosiveness is starting to be there. The run after the catch ability is starting to be there. The, the powerful runner that Sam Laporta was is starting to reemerge. And we're starting to see the rookie Sam Laporta yet again. And I think that continued in week four. That continued against Seattle, where he had arguably his best game of the season from a targets perspective, a yards perspective, and a yards per reception perspective. 
he really stepped up and continued to grow in that role. But that is really the only concern is that Sam Laporta has been, you know, nursing that injury. And it's something that the Lions have been working around. So it's not so much that they're leaning away from Sam Laporta because they don't want to use him or because they can't use him, but they're leaning away from Sam Laporta to let him heal, to let him nurse that injury. And most importantly, because they don't have to rely on Sam Laporta this year. They don't have to go to him as that second option every single time and get him 120 targets. And in fact, his targets are being cut nearly in half from where they were a season ago. He was on pace, I believe, for at least from last game, he was on pace to receive just 61 targets this NFL season, which is quite literally half of what he saw a season ago. Now, taking a look at Sam Laporta's rankings within the Lions organization, he still ranks very highly. He ranks third in targets on this team. He ranks third in reception. He ranks third in yards, only behind Jamison Williams and Amon Ross St. Brown. He is second on the team in first down receptions, and he's fourth on the team in yards per reception. He would be third on the team if it wasn't for Sione Vaki's special team reception for one yard for one reception, 17 yards. And if it wasn't for Tim Patrick's two receptions for 52 yards, he would be second on the team. So of players with more than two receptions, Sam Laporta is second on the roster in yards per reception, only behind Jamison Williams, and he's still being a very good target for Jared Goff. He's still being super impactful for this offense. And again, I actually think that this dip in production, this dip in volume is a good thing for the Detroit Lions. Sam Laporta should not have to see 120 targets a year. He should not have to see 90 receptions a season for the Detroit Lions. That is an unsustainable pace that will put a lot of wear and a lot of tear on a tight end's body, especially a young player like Sam Laporta. So if the Detroit Lions can kind of take their foot off the gas with Sam Laporta, spread some of those targets to Jamison Williams, spread some of those targets to David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs and Tim Patrick and Khalif Raymond, I think it's going to be much better for Sam Laporta in the long run as an NFL tight end. And it's not as though Sam Laporta is on pace to have a bad season. And in fact, in many cases, in many statistical categories, Sam Laporta is a better tight end this year than he was a season ago. Outside of him being a phenomenal blocker through the first couple of weeks of the NFL season, Sam Laporta is on pace for 60 targets, 51 receptions, 625 yards, and as of right now, zero touchdowns. But of course, that is a statistic that fluctuates wildly. Through the first month of the season, Sam Laporta saw zero touchdowns, but through the next month of the NFL season, he could see three, four, or even five touchdowns in the next four to five games, and it's just a stat that goes back and forth. Sometimes players go on a hot streak and they score four, five, six touchdowns in a game in a row, right? They score six touchdowns in six games, and sometimes they go a month without scoring. It's really a statistic that is just hard to gauge. But a statistic that is not hard to gauge is targets, is receptions, is yards, how involved a player is on the offense week in and week out. And yeah, while Sam Laporta is on pace to be about 100, 250 yards shy of where he was a season ago, he's also getting half the production. He's getting half the receptions. He's getting half the targets that he was at a season ago. And I think that's actually really impressive. I think the fact that his yards per reception are up, his catching percentage is up, his yards per route run have improved, his yards, again, per reception have improved. Everything about Sam Laporta's game on a efficiency metric has gone up for the Detroit Lions. He is a more efficient, a more explosive, a better receiving tight end than he was a season ago. And quite honestly, if Sam Laporta finishes with 600 to 700 receiving yards, that's still going to put him as a top five tight end in the NFL. It is. That's still going to put Sam Laporta as a top receiving tight end in the National Football League. I think there's a good chance that his usage goes up a little bit. I think he probably finishes the season somewhere between 70 and 80 targets, somewhere between 50 and 60 receptions, and somewhere between 600 and 700 receiving yards with probably five to seven touchdowns sprinkled in there throughout the season, which statistically would tell you that Sam Laporta regressed as a sophomore, but I don't think that's the case. I do think that Sam Laporta actually did get better throughout the offseason. And this statistical production is a good thing for everybody that didn't draft him in fantasy. 
I truly think the only people that are upset right now with Sam Laporta are those people that took him in the second round of their fantasy drafts. Because as of right now, Sam Laporta doesn't have to be the second weapon in this offense. Amon Ross St. Brown has stepped up massively. Jameson Williams has stepped into that star role and been really, really good. Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery are a fantastic running back duo and arguably the best running back duo in the NFL. So with all of those options available, I think it's a good thing that Sam Laporta is seeing less targets. I think it's a good thing that Sam Laporta is seeing less receptions, getting less hits, getting less wear and tear on his body. I think for the long term of his NFL career, this is going to be a good thing for the Detroit Lions. Now, is that to say that they can't get Sam Laporta more involved in the red zone? Absolutely not. I think that the touchdowns will come, and I do think that Ben Johnson will scheme his tight end open in the red zone more efficiently throughout the next three months of the NFL season. But as of right now, it is not time to hit the panic button. Sam Laporta has been just as good his sophomore year as he was as a rookie. If anything, Sam Laporta has been better. The touchdowns will come, the scores will be back, and Sam Laporta within a month from today will likely be looked at as, again, a top five tight end in all of football. With that being said, that is all I have for you guys today. I wanted to shine some light and shine some content on the numbers because there's a lot of people that are upset. There's a lot of people that feel like Sam Laporta isn't involved enough, but the fact of the matter is the Lions are three and one. The Lions have one of the best offenses in the NFL. If they don't have to use Sam Laporta until he's fully healthy, I don't think that they really need. So with that being said, that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments your opinions about Sam Laporta as a second-year player. Are you excited for him? Are you a little disappointed in his start so far? Do you think the production will go back up? Or do you think we're just seeing a sophomore slump as many players tend to have? I'd be curious to hear your guys' opinions. With that being said, that's all I got for you guys right now. If you have yet to subscribe to the channel, please go down below and do so. It helps the channel out a ton. If you hit the bell notification, you will never miss a Lions upload again. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, as always, go Lions.